Hi, I'm Dr. Malpani from Malpani Infertility Clinic. And one of the questions which patients often ask is, why was the quality of my embryos so poor? Now, most patients expect that when they do an IVF cycle, the IVF lab will create top quality embryos for them and they will become babies. Unfortunately, this doesn't always happen. And what are the reasons why you get poor quality embryos in the lab? And these could just be because of the following three variables. There could be a problem with the eggs, there could be a problem with the sperm, and there could be a problem with the laboratory. And that's it. Now, usually if there's a problem with embryos, it's very rarely the sperm which play a role. Unless, of course, you've done IVF and then, then had total fertilization failure, in which case then the problem is with the sperm. Otherwise, nine times out of ten, the commonest reason for poor quality embryos is poor quality eggs. And the reason for this is that it's the egg which provides all the energy for cell division, which means logically you would think that it's 50-50 between egg and sperm, but the reality is the egg is far more important as far as embryo quality goes. Unfortunately in India, the commonest reason for poor quality embryos is the IVF lab. And this is because a lot of labs don't have enough quality control, don't have enough experience or expertise. They often take advantage of a patient's ignorance. They're completely opaque. They don't share embryo photos. So there's no transparency. So the poor patient doesn't even know that her embryos were poor quality. So forget about asking why the embryos were of poor quality because the doctors hide all this information. And that's why as a well-informed patient, it's important that you ask your doctor to give you photos of your embryos and insist on a blastocyst transfer. Want to find out more? Please check out our website at www.drmalpani.com and I'll be happy to answer your questions.